In this video, I'll be talking about the two portraits I did of Toronto-based musician Kelsey McNulty, one of which I submitted to the Kingston Prize for Portraiture. A few years ago, Kelsey was doing a residency at Small Pond Arts, and she asked if I could take a few photos of her for promotional purposes. I asked her if I could use a couple of those photos for reference to do a couple of portraits of her to submit to the Kingston Prize. She agreed, and here we are. My plan was to do two large portraits, and whichever one worked out better would be the one that I would submit to the exhibition. You can see here by the comparison with that chair how big these portraits were. My modeling gear is set up on that table behind me, but the paintings took precedence. I worked crazy to make the April 28th, 2017 deadline, and I didn't get much model building done. Uh, note the new five bulb Medusa lamp behind me. Uh, I use uh, two cool LEDs and three warm LEDs for a color balanced light. Uh, I call it the Medusa lamp because I like naming things. On the wall behind me are a couple of paintings which were among my very first attempts at oils uh, 17 years before this photo was taken. And on the floor you can see a couple of commissions I was working on concurrently with these uh, two large portraits. Uh, here is me blocking in the shadows. This is my usual first step, uh, done with olive green. Here's some highlights, but it, it's starting to look kind of weird at this point. It's hard to accurately judge the colors because they're adjacent to that uh, intense orange ground that I always do. You can see the pencil lines coming through. It's transparent, which gives me a guideline, but it can be tricky when working with colors surrounded by that orange. Here's some more rendering. It's starting to look kind of like a chalk drawing on colored paper at this point. And it also kind of looks a little heavy handed, but my instincts told me that the colors and modeling are actually okay. At this point, I decided to block in the hair so that I could get a better read on how the colors in the face were looking, and it inadvertently looked exactly like a chalk drawing. <laughs> but it was fine. And then I um, did an outline around the hair to get rid of some of that adjacent orange. Here's that outline and some reiterated shadows in the hair. Uh, because these portraits are larger than life, and the other one is much more larger than life, uh, I could get in and play around with little brush strokes all over the place and not worry too much about wrecking any precise marks. Still, even in the bigger portrait, I wasn't about to render every strand of hair. That way lies madness. Here's some more facial modeling and hair highlights. Uh, things are starting to come together nicely now. Uh, the orange showing through here and there is nice. It gives a little bit of warmth to the face and it holds things together. The background of the reference photo was just a wall of trees and green leaves, so I decided to break it up and bring in some sky, and then do a simplified abstract treatment, and this would contrast the yet-to-be-painted but highly detailed accordion. Here the sky is complete. I edged the tree line with olive green oil, but the way I work, that is almost never using any thinners, uh, this was taking longer than necessary and the deadline was relentlessly approaching. And so I decided to use some thinned out black acrylic, just with water, to block in the rest of the background. That way it would be dry sooner and allow for some good dark ground for my foliage. I did just a few more adjustments on the face here. This is one last look as I leave it alone to cure while I worked on the rest of the painting and sections. After which I'd come back to the face later uh, with a few more final adjustments. Here the trees are blocked in with a few highlights added and the shirt, minus the cuff, is now complete. Here's an early look at the accordion. Um, we didn't plan Kelsey's wardrobe for the shoot, but that black and orange striped shirt really works well for this portrait. The black horizontal stripes echo the horizontal lines of the accordion, and the orange stripes tie into her hair and skin color. Uh, the alternating lines make a nice transitional element from warm organic to cool mechanical. Here are some refinements to the face and the hair. The final adjustments included super white highlights and further reiteration of the dark shadows, and a few sculptural adjustments here and there. 
Here are a few refinements I did on the accordion, which was a beast. I'm thinking I might do a whole series of musical instruments to make up for whatever shortcomings there are here. I wasn't intimidated by the complexity of this instrument until I actually started working on it, but I wasn't worried about anything other than time. With only a few days left, could I adequately render this thing to look anywhere near satisfying? Well, satisfying will have to do. Two years before, in 2015, because the Kingston Prize competition is every other year, I also did two portraits of a musician, George Meanwell, and I submitted the one that I thought worked best. In this case, I submitted the one of Kelsey with the accordion because she's a musician, and I felt that that was a better portrait of her, and yet I think this one is a better painting of her. Here's a look at the pencil stage. Uh, I did both of these portraits on wood panel, which is different from working on canvas because there's no give. It's a very resistant, uh, physically resistant material, but operationally it works the same. So uh, on the gesso, I do my pencil and then I cover the pencil with orange acrylic, which I prefer compared to other colors because it just gives it a warmth that I like, regardless of the scene that I'm doing, whether it's a warm scene or a cool scene. This one ends up being more of a cool scene and I like the orange. I was originally going to paint this in realistic colors, but a chance glimpse of a magazine cover that uh, featured Vincent van Gogh's Almond Blossom changed my mind and I tried to apply the color scheme he used in that painting, using greens and yellows for the skin and hair and blues for everything else. I don't know how successful I was, but I like the end result. Having a bright orange ground, uh, applying colors can be tricky, especially if they're blues, as they tend to vibrate and create weird after images in the eye. Still, I trusted my instincts and the colors mixed on my palette, and kept going. Working in such a huge scale was very fun, and it allowed me to really get in there and make some really tiny and subtle details so that when looked at from a few meters away, the realism of the forms uh, looks pretty good, despite the unrealistic colors. Here's some more modeling, and some more highlights, and some more modeling, and now the shirt. At this point the face and the hair are done, uh, and I would just wait for them to cure so I could add the super highlights and shadows later. Uh, for now the shirt needed to be blocked in. Uh, it's the same orange and black shirt which I used in the painting with the accordion, but I didn't want the darks to be too dark since I wanted to concentrate the greatest contrasts in the face and in the hair. I debated whether to do any gradient rendering on the shirt or just leave it like this, looking like a flat uh, screen print. I debated this all the way until the end and decided I like this look a lot, leaving the complex rendering isolated to the face and the hair. Here the background is a little dark. I had photographed Kelsey in front of one of our sheds and the blue here is almost exactly accurate, but it wasn't as light as I'd hoped to follow Van Gogh's painting. So I went over the background after it had mostly cured uh, while working on the accordion painting uh, with light blue, which still wasn't light enough. So while my first attempt at lightning was still wet, I applied lots of pure white and blended that in to get my final desired preferred result. And here's a closer look at Kelsey's face. This is complete now. Here's Kelsey shading her eyes from the sun because the sun was too bright and it turned out to be a really good, fun, sort of cheeky picture. I should have submitted this instead of the accordion one. <laughs> 